Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This is Shadow 53 with a match between Rymark and Yippa 56, which is going to be interesting because I have never seen Yippa 56, and it looks like he is not. He is kind of a newer player, so it'll be interesting to see what he does. Because watching newer players is definitely fascinating, just to see what they go for. Starting with a couple convicts and a shield blood factory. Good choice in this map, and Rymark is going for no factory, which is. Generally a questionable choice. He has Morphous Commander. I'm assuming he's going to go full on Troll Comm, level 5 Commander, just rush with that, and that'll be everything. No modules from the looks of it, so uh, no module level 5 Troll Comm. That will be his direct... Oh, never mind, he's going for Gunship Factory. Darn it, Rymark, you ruined my... fun, I guess. Anyway, yeah, so Rymark's going for Gunships, which is... I think he might be meaning it as a handicap, given the LO difference, but I don't know if it's going to work out that way. Depending on what he's going for, if he goes for a Black Dawn Rush, I seriously doubt that's going to work out as a handicap of any sort. He is, however, going for Quick Rapiers, which I have not seen in months. I haven't seen anyone build Rapier. Ever since Black Dawn became popular, I haven't seen anyone build Rapier. I've seen a few Brawlers, and I've seen some Banshees from time to time, but I haven't seen anyone go for a Quick Rapier. It They haven't really been seen as useful according to the forums. Admittedly, I disagree. I think Rapiers are actually just fine, but... I can kind of see why people might be a little bit unconvinced by them. I mean, if you think about it, they only fire on one target at a time, and they are a little slow moving compared to Banshees. I mean, like Banshees also fire on one target at a time, but they don't have quite the cooldown that Rapiers do. However, well, let's compare stats. So, Banshee and Rapier. Banshee costs 220 to 300, has AC health to 1110, is twice as fast, but. Damage per second is actually about the same, though the range is about two-thirds that of the Rapier. So Rapier definitely has higher range, but a much higher reload time, so very much a high alpha unit. Slower, high alpha, definitely going to take out a few large targets, not necessarily great at dealing with smaller targets. Would be for, it's meant for anti-air more than anything. It's a flex AA in the air. Probably going to use it for some harassment, get rid of a few metal extractors here or there. Yippa going very much for, well, very much for Convicts. He's going for Heavy Builder, which on this map is not a terrible idea, but a little bit questionable. This this many builders might be too many. There is quite a bit of reclaim potential, though an early Stinger is very questionable. There's really not much reason to do that. But yeah, there are, there are reclaimables. All this glowing stuff, this is all reclaiming. So Yippa could definitely reclaim that. That's not a bad idea. He's not doing so, but he could with the amount of convicts he has. Pushing into bandits, which is good to do, but he's not an infinite build, so he will stop building once this is done. Should thing to point out, RPQ is your friend. Very much your friend, especially if you're new to this game and you aren't sure what things do, but you kind of have been given some ideas about what to build, which doesn't include an early felon, by the way, but does usually include early bandits. Repeat Q is your friend, because you don't have to worry about dividing your attention between your factory and your units and everything else going on and trying to learn this game. Admittedly, you have to make sure that you aren't overbuilding something, but that's usually not the biggest deal. Unless you're overbuilding felons, in which case that is a big deal. Anyway, rapiers are coming in here, and that's not doing any favors to Rymark. Sorry, to Yippa. Doing all the favors to Rymark. Of course, the Rymark's rapiers. But yeah, Yippa does not have that going for him. He does have the stinger, but that's not going to help out. Well, okay, it's going to help out a little bit. Actually, it's going to help out quite a lot. In fact, these rapiers are not that fast enough to dodge that stinger effectively. So that first rapier is actually going to go down. One of the rapiers does go down to the stinger. I'm dead wrong about that stinger, at least in terms of anti-air defense. At least in terms of anti-rapier defense. Generally speaking, though, they're not great for that purpose. But yeah, I think Harimark is just handicapping himself with rapiers just to be nice. I could be wrong. I could sincerely be trying to see what rapiers can do. Like, really push their limits, see what they can do, because he is has been posting a lot of balance comments on the forums. So, from the perspective of determining game balance for any units, especially underused ones, what Rymark's doing makes perfect sense. Build the Rapiers. No one builds Rapiers, so build the Rapiers, see how they do. Maybe they're bu building them for a reason, maybe they're not building them because they haven't thought to build them. Rapiers are actually really powerful. Probably the former, but you know what? Worth testing. Definitely worth testing. Always good to see what's going on in the meta. You always want to make sure that it's Everything is being tested. Because otherwise you end up with units that could be balanced, you don't know, and then it becomes weird. It's getting into weird situations. However, Rymark actually doing a decent job with this. A few 
Vandals, maybe. I don't know. Vandals probably would not do especially well. The Felons would do pretty well, but Vandals are kind of what's there. Racketeers would also be kind of handy just to stop them from attacking. They do have homing missiles, so that would work. Vandals are the only anti-air that shield bots have, but they are not cost-effective for attack. They're great for defense. They do not die quickly. But they also don't deal a whole lot of damage quickly, which means that these rapiers just have free reign to go around the map as they are and kill everything. As Ramark is just going around getting a crane, and this is what it meant. I mean, yeah, you can kind of set up with a certain amount of handicap. But when your handicap involves unconventional factories, I mean, gunship start is not done often. It's done sometimes, but usually it's done for a Black Dawn rush. But yeah, when you're going for unconventional factories, it's typically not easy to defend against. So as a handicap, it's questionable. On the one hand, yeah, you're dealing with units that usually aren't the most viable right off the bat, but on the, the other hand, you're dealing with units that your opponent is very unlikely to have seen ever, especially if they're quite new. And that is problematic. And look, the spider is the next choice. Once again, another factor that's really hard to deal with if you don't know how, especially with Venoms. If you know how, they're actually fairly simple to deal with, although for shield bots, it's not quite the same. For Kologi bots against spiders, it's kind of straightforward. Build Rockos. For shield bots, racketeers and rogues together do a great job, as actually just a lot of bandits do a great job for anything that racketeers and rogues don't, and vice versa. But, like I said, the rapiers are kind of hard to deal with, especially given that air is air and you need anti-air for it, or you need... I mean, for gunships, not so bad. A lot of bandits would get rid of the rapiers, no problem. And I mean, a couple dozen at this point. Two or three dozen at this point would get rid of the rapiers. Well, actually, half a dozen rapiers, you'd probably need about four or five dozen bandits. But still, for 300 metal, that's... That's half a dozen bandits per rapier. Or, well, okay, I'm exaggerating. That's actually about four bandits per rapier. But still, that's a dozen bandits for every three rapiers. So given that there are eight rapiers in the map... That, or nine rapiers, rather. Oh, okay. So given nine rapiers on the map, that ends up working out to about three dozen bandits. Which would be able to take care of these without too much issue. Because bandits can hit... Gunships. Gunships fly in low enough to the ground that raiders can hit them, and bandits have a fast enough moving weapon that they'd be fine, given the speed of the rapier. But it doesn't look like Yipa is aware of the fact that that'll work. That's actually probably a little unintuitive. I don't know what Yipa's played. I'm curious if he's played any other Total Annihilation based RTS games, or if he's played any other RTS games. Because, of course, most RTS games have dedicated anti air and anti ground. You just don't have those mix. Total Annihilation based games more often have a bit of overlap, but 0k, I think, if I'm not mistaken, has almost a uniquely large level of overlap of ground and air targeting. I'll have to double-check that. I think there are quite a few other spring-based games that do have a decent amount of overlap between ground, anti-ground and anti-air, but 0k definitely has a lot of that. It really comes down to whether or not the unit will hit. I mean, most any unit can turn their turret to the sky and shoot, some of them will hit. Bandits are one of them. And of course, homing missiles will hit all the time. Hermit's coming in as a follow-up for Rymark, and I'm just going to speed up this replay because it's not going to go... It's kind of inevitable to see what's going to happen, so I'll just speed that up. I mean, Ipa, all he has is a Felon with an Aspis. Not a bad bit of support there. Thugs are a much better option. If you're going to go for Felon, you want to go Felon Thug, just to have that additional support, the additional military on there. However... Yeah, but if he watches this, and I hope he does, Thug Felon is a great thing to do in the mid-game. You start a little early, but it's not a bad idea. It's definitely a good strategy. The Aspis is a great support in the late game. But now we get to the final battle, or presumably the final battle, and Felons do get down quickly. This is where the Thugs come in. The Thugs do not rely on the shields to deal damage, and that pretty much is going to finish it off. Yippa's commander protected by the convict shield somewhat, but that's not going to last long. And the Rapiers are going to actually go down pretty quickly. The Hermits, however, are well dealing with everything else. And Yippa's commander goes down. And another half dozen Rapiers come in to finish this off. These Stingers do not last long. And all the Caretakers go down. Chain explosion on those. Point that out. Do not build Caretakers adjacent to each other. Same with Windmills. Although that's not... That is not applicable in this particular game. But... Yeah, do not build windmills adjacent to each other, or caretakers. They explode, with extreme prejudice. Anyway, or, okay, I'm exaggerating. 
Geothermal plants and singularity reactors explode with extreme prejudice. But still, caretakers and wind gens do explode. Dangerous. Anyway, gonna go after this to... Okay, so Sortail is pointing out... Oh, okay. Yipa apparently does not understand English. I... Hmm. Problematic. I suppose I... Yeah, it looks like according to the flag he's Taiwanese, so I can't actually repeat that in... Okay, that I, I don't think I can be much help. I'm sorry. So yeah, if someone could translate that, my comments, that would be great. But yeah, Sortail is pointing out that what I mentioned about 0k is actually true of all spring games in general. That units are only physically restrained from hitting air. There isn't any arbitrary restriction to whether or not they can hit air. It's just a matter of, will the shell hit the sky? Will the shell hit the unit in the sky before that unit moves out of the way? Usually the answer is no, but in a lot of cases with raiders, it is yes. Or a matter of, is the air unit in range, which... In the case of 0k is usually true, in the case of Nauta, for example, is often false. And in the case of Evolution RTS, I'm not quite sure, but yeah. In 0k's case, gunships are low enough to the ground that most units can fire at them. Planes are often not too far off the ground for most units to hit. Some units will still try, they have the range, a lot of units don't. A lot of units that can hit don't. Anyway, gonna go on to a game between Randy and Clone. So, if these games with the lower level players have been bugging you, well, next game is going to be Randy and Clone. And that will be certainly entertaining. It's going to be on Desert Cliffs, so small map, but... Well, they are very good players. There's no, no denying that. So, I think it'll be interesting regardless. Stay tuned for that. I'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> 